I would go much more heavily into music, either full-time to music, or since what I always did was draw and paint and wanted to play, now that I can play, I'd be drawing, painting, and playing. and I decided to play her along. I'll slip into something cooler. I flicked a Tic Tac, the two flavored mint. The smooth outer coating surrendering to the inner mint played mind games with my taste buds. And I noticed it was my last. I had to make a decision, stay with a broad or go get a fresh pack of Tic Tac. <laughs> no contest. With a commercial, it's, it's, it's very different than the way we work on the feature. It's, it's got a, it's a whole, it's totally different thing. The agency always have their idea. I mean, we don't have the ideas for them, so they come in with the concept, which they've usually tested. They've usually done a test film called an animatic, which is just to, they'll get an illustrator to film a storyboard with their soundtrack, a rough soundtrack, and they send that out for market research. So that's already been to, you know, a selection of housewives and grandfathers or whatever it is testing it and they have the test results and they've gone through all their committee meetings and all their stuff and then they hunt around for the company who's going to make the thing and so they they come here because we're famous for our bag of tricks there came a time when natural resources became so precious that men were forced to seek them in alien environments from all over earth men and materials were gathered machines the like of which had never been seen before. This mighty endeavor required a vast investment and a leap of technology as great as that which placed the first men on the moon. And you can make it in minutes. You just add the powder to fresh milk and whisk. So it's very wholesome and it contains honey. Mm. Mm -hmm. But most important of all, it's delicious. My heart's a flutter, it tastes like butter, that's only half my story told. For I can spread it in December, even though the weather's cold. Oh, blow the man down, holy, blow the man down, holy, hey, blow the man down, blow the man down, holy, blow him away. Blow the man down, holy, blow the man down, blow the man down, we blow him afar on the thirteenth of May. Son, you must swear to me by the sacred sword of Jovan that you will use the power only for good, never for evil. 
That's when I had the idea. It was a gamble, but I figured even all working together, they'd never pass 11 plus. Fixe Füchse wissen, dass man mit dem Bauspargeld von Schwäbisch Hall nicht nur ein Haus bauen, sondern auch renovieren und modernisieren kann. There's a, a chap called John Webster, who's the creative director of Bose Massimi Paulet, and they're one of the leading creative agencies. And he's very unusual because he actually has original ideas. He's quite brilliant. And he came in with the, the Crest of Bear series we used to do years ago. It was his idea. And he did these very funny drawings of bears, which we used as the model. Baby, I will be your ever-loving fan. Give me the drink, I really love a bottle or a can. It's Friday, man. I don't want to drink no shit, cause man, that's really rough. But when it comes to Cresta, here's one bear that just can't get enough. It's Friday, man. John came in one day with a the commercial with the, where the bear was on skates and he couldn't skate well and he threw that fit thing and um, I thought it was hilarious to do that on skates because he's obviously going to go off balance the whole time and being Canadian I skated a fair bit and my or our lectures I mean Art Babbitt had just finished giving us our, his first month's course of lectures and so we were all into where's the weight in the body i was weight crazy you know if it's a 300 pound bear is he going to stagger back this way there's all this stuff i thought oh give me the skating one dick purdom wanted the uh, we fought for it and anyway i took it because i was the boss and he got a nice one we used to do about three bears at once anyway i did the skating one and for the first time i got carried away i thought oh i know i can do this and i can do that I rang up John and said, I'm getting carried away here. I wanted to, uh, can I just uh, improvise a little on this? And he said, oh yeah, sure, good, good. So I animated the whole thing my way. And I thought it was absolutely hilarious. I was, we ran and we were all falling around and I thought, I really enjoyed it. And he came in and I ran it. And he said, well, what? Yeah, he says, that's fine, that's very nice, very nice. He said, what happened to my idea? <laughs> I said, oh no. I suddenly saw I'd taken a trip on his idea. He didn't want my idea. He wanted his idea done with my, my bag of tricks at his service. Quite right, too. So I took the whole thing and threw it in the wastebasket and started again. And we used it as a, it had a temporary effect, at least. I was, it was a public hanging of me by me to the studio and say, see what happens when you don't follow the brief? See what happens when you get carried away about animation? Or don't you like the little bit with the skate and the little bit where he almost flies in the air? The hell with that. He wanted his idea, which was very funny. So I did it his way, which he loved, and it went out and it won a lot of prizes. And I never thought it was as funny as what I was going to do. But the hell with that. You know two reasons I left the North Pole? Feist, the frost, the crest, and with all the fruity flavors. <laughs> Second, I ain't too hot on the ice, man. I'm very proud to say we must have 175 awards, mostly for advertising things, but there's some good film ones in there. And they're splattered all over the walls. Um, because they're professional armor. I mean, our clients, because I looked like the office boy, they used to, I used to be, um, and I wasn't treated with very much respect, or I, clients would work me over quite a bit. But when we had a gauntlet of gold prizes, and they open the door and they have to go down the gauntlet of prizes to get to the boardroom, it has an effect on them. And I say, oh, that's a pile of old rubbish, which in a way it is a pile of old rubbish. But it's like my appointment to Her Majesty the Queen. You know, <laughs> I mean, you know, what have I got if I haven't got 
those awards. I've got, I've got nothing. I mean, I've got the building and the staff that's in it. We, you know, and an unmade picture. It's the only, it's what I tried to do to finally attract the finance of the picture, and it seems to be somewhat succeeding, is that you surround everybody with consistently good work, and then eventually somebody will say, oh, gee, maybe they can do something. <laughs> or maybe Williams, you know, maybe they're capable of making a great, greatly successful picture. So those awards are half the battle, I suppose.